Hello everyone, in this video we will try to learn 10 Blender video editing shortcuts. There are many shortcuts available but in this video right, I will focus on some shortcuts. So believe me, this video will make you much more effective rest of your editing journey. So I wish I could have known the shortcut uh, beginning of my editing journey but learning these shortcuts not only saves your time but elevate your editing skills. If you are a beginner or already a professional, it's worth of watching this video. Without wasting any further time, let's begin. The first shortcut which you'll be learning is enabling and disabling the sidebar which is which you see right i'm highlighting so this is called a sidebar so to disable it right you have to just type in then it, it goes off and then if you want again to enable the sidebar right so again type in so it will come back and this side right this side of the section it is called a toolbar so if you want to navigate to system files or drives and you import any file right so what you can do is it you hover your mouse here and then type t so what it does it it loads entire your system information what all drives you have and then you can just import it any of the file from here so again if you don't want it you have to type t it goes off that's how it is there let's just import it quickly import a file so if you import right so if you see by default right is going on this side right side as well right so if you want to align it align it with just one button right what you have to do is type home button so what it does is right when you type home button so it will make sure that this end frame matches with this window so if you see right i'll just scroll and show you so this matches here so that's how you can just uh, bring up entire video clip into this particular window this is how it does that I use a form button. There is another shortcut you will discuss with it. If you hover, uh, keep your mouse here and then type T. So what happens right? it brings up this another plane here left side. So it has the blade option. If you have multiple cuts you want to do right. So what you can do is that you can just click on this button and that's wherever you want right cut you can do. So it, it just cuts the video. Then if you want to again unselect this and then if you see right it, it has cut your video into multi sections. So let's just undo it. I'll just typing control Z and then making that all look again same. The next shortcut which will be very useful when you are working with multiple files so let's just import couple of files quickly i imported this one more file i'll just import one more file i'll import this file so if you see right i have multiple files as you the video editor right you you will be working with multiple video clips so in this scenario right if you want to select and all the clips right what you can do is you can select like this and then just drag it this is one method the other shortcut which i want to tell you is right type a so if you type a right it automatically selects and then you can drag this wherever you want alt a to deselect a to select all Alt A to deselect. So that's how this is one shortcut which will be very much useful when you are working with multiple video clips. So the next shortcut is suppose you have done some editing and then you know that this this particular edited video is only required and all the other clips right you want to just select in one button and then delete them off. This in this scenario right this shortcut will be very useful. So what is that right? Control I. So what happens right? So if you see right when I type Control I so all the clips right which have been unselected so those have been highlighted. So I can delete them with just one button. X is the another shortcut which you can use it for deleting selected clips. So if I type X right, it will go off. So let's just undo it and just show you one more time. Suppose I just need only these two. Suppose I just need only these two. I've holded shift and then clicked on these two clips and then the clips I don't want. So what I will do is control I. I will type so it will select all the clips whatever there and then I can just with one shortcut and then delete it. X is another shortcut. So suppose if you want to delete multiple videos right, you can just select shift and then delete. X is another the shortcut or just undo the stuff uh, if you want to cut somewhere in the clip right and then it's a simple shortcut so if you multiple times right we will be doing lots of cuts so k is the button so it automatically cuts the video so if wherever which whichever the clips you selected and then we just hover there and then type k it will it make sure that it cuts there and the other option right uh, which i've shown it here if you toggle if you select on this blade right and then this is very useful when you want multiple cuts suppose if you want to do it cut here 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 so it, it just cuts entire um, things here so let, let me just show you let me just quickly show you so if you see right it has cut that i'm, I'm doing Control z and then we just the next shortcut is right we'll be working with preview range so to set the preview by default right blender only previews eight second of video so if you want to set right manually so what you have to do type p so i'll just quickly show you uh, only selecting this much of section of preview and then if i play right it just plays this particular section so the preview range is set to this particular scenario you are working on only particular part of a video then you want to set only preview range to that then you can use it that to deselect the preview range right what you have to type alt p so it will so if you see it it goes off entire stuff so that is how this is done so let me just quickly show you again p and then select select the range if you want to play for a preview range and then it plays that and then to deselect it what you have to do alt p 